Hey guys, this is Scott. Yeah, like you didn't know that. I got something for you. Absolutely incredible. It's going to melt your brain. Now before, before we do anything, before we go ahead, please hit that like and subscribe button because you might regret it and not want to do it later. This is going to be a longer video. I'm going to go over a lot of different things. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to show you a structure you had no idea exists. After this video, you're going to walk to your window, you're going to open the curtains, you're going to look outside, and you're going to say, God damn, everything's different now. Because you're going to know aliens were in everything. They're dipping their fingers in everything. Our creativity, our thoughts, our ideas, our evolution, our inventions. Now, check this out. We're going to zoom in to the Northern Pole region. Now, I know I'm moving fast, but I want to focus on this area up here in the Northern Pole. Now, up here, there is something that looks like a structure. It really does. It looks like there might be pixelization, but as I explored further and zoomed in closer, I realized this structure here is absolutely amazing now what i'm going to do here is add a little dehaze which is shadow it's actually shadow why is my voice changing <laughs> i don't know okay back to normal voice here we are here we are with shadow this is enhanced here is normal now i'll put the download link to this in the about description below the video but look at this look at this i'm going to show you each structure for about 30 seconds and you make up your mind about it what you think is going on now i'm going to zoom out so you get the full perspective of this and zoom back in it looks like a crater but there is definitely there is definitely some kind of structure there that's absolutely amazing yes i could zoom on it but no, it won't be more focused. Look at the reflection off of it. These are the white ceramic kind of structures. White ceramic meaning the reflectiveness. White ceramic structures that I said is, exist on the moon. There are three kinds of structures and they are the, the white ceramics, the gray metallics, which is more human-like with a lot of right angles. And then of course, there are the black structures, which actually like a stealth, fighter has radar absorbing paint while well, these things have light absorbing outer coatings so you actually can't get a focused picture of these little buggers now look at these little black buggers here these little black things are incredible structures now this one is really really great it's one of my favorites right here look at this black structure this black one is absolutely amazing you can see some tiny bit of reflectiveness over it do you see the reflectiveness over it now behind this black structure is some white structures yes they actually have two structures mixed together and this often happens but usually i don't see the white ones next to the black i usually see the gray next to the black ones now this is sounding so racial but i'm talking about structures people i'm talking about structures and a lot of the structures are black it's just absolutely amazing. Let's make this a little bit darker because I want you to see the white structures in the back. Do you see them yet? Do you see them yet? Now, this is a big photo, okay? I'm talking 400. I, I enhanced it. It's 400 megabytes. Now, if I go any bigger, my photo program actually can't hold it and enhance it, even though this is a newer iMac. Now, I'm using a program called Photoscape X right now, and you could use it too if you have a Mac or an Apple computer. Look at that. Do you see behind this black structure are more structures? Now, the structure behind it is actually white, but I'm using the shadow program, Dehaze, to see this white structure. That's kind of cool, right? It is. Oh, what did I do? Let's get out of that okay let's go around and explore a little bit more guys we're going to look at the structures nearby now this one has a something that looks like either a black structure or a hole at the bottom of the crater now i notice in this photo there are a lot of holes at the bottom of the crater do you notice this one has a hole that one has a hole i can't zoom in on it i have hit maximum zoom guys i really have so I'm going to move around. Here's another one with a hole in it. I thought it would be just 
just uh, shadows, but it, it's not just shadows. Look at right above my cursor is a structure, is a structure. Now I'm going to hit uh, dehaze for a second, and you can see this structure right here a little bit better. Okay, I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out. I know, guys, I'm missing so many things, and I can't determine if these are structures or pixelization up there. So I'm going to come down and focus on something that's closer and more focused because things that are closer and more focused can be zoomed in on much easier. Now look at these. These look like normal little hills and mountains. However, however, when I hit, uh, when I hit sharpen, I'm going to hit sharpen on Photoscape X. Got to wait just a second, guys. Got to wait just a second. Make sure you're full screen mode on HD, okay? Because full screen on HD will be able to see these things. Now, you notice there's a big difference, but the white things do become too white, like this structure here becomes all too white. Now, uh, Carl Wolf said he used to be a sergeant and he saw cities on the moon, and uh, he said there were some white fungus structures. Guys, how white and fungusy are these? These look like white fungus structures, just like he described. He said there were structures that were obviously intelligently made. Look at the triangle right here. See the triangle on the side of this fungus structure? Oh, I could zoom in. I can zoom in. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm not. I just lost 20 subs right there. Guys, check this out. This is just so amazing. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to zoom out. There's some really amazing structures around here. And I'm going to show you these in a second. I'm doing my best to zoom in. This is a huge, huge photo, guys. Look at that. Look at this. Structure here, structure here, structure here. These are not just hills. These are actual alien grown structures bioengineered why because they do things the easy way they look at us humans and say what the hell are they doing the humans do things the hard way every single time it takes such a long time just to do something but not aliens they take the easy way out they want to of course do things faster do things better and do things smarter their time is valuable so let me show you your time is valuable too. valuable too. let me zoom over we're looking for some more structures here we got some right here let's zoom in on these this one's interesting too kind of amazing there let's put some deepening really comes out just a second it's going to be focused in just a second like I said, this is a 400 megabyte photo. I enlarged a lot so I can zoom in for you. Now, originally this photo is about 40 megabytes or so. Uh, you'll find out when you download it, when you cl click the link, it's directly from the, the LROCSE -E, uh, Arizona State University archive from NASA, sponsored by NASA. Look at these structures, guys. Now, if I'm going too fast, please just stop the video anywhere along the line. You're going to see some crazy cool things. Let's move over to this area a little bit. I think I made it a little bit too dark, didn't I? I did. A little bit too dark. Let's take some of that darkening off. Go back, back to a more natural look. Okay. There we are. Wow. Okay, we have some pretty cool looking structures right there. Some black objects inside of these craters. Now there's a lot of black structures around here. A lot of black structures around. Now I want to show you these, but I really need to enhance it a little bit. There you go. Just a second, it's waiting again, it's waiting. Okay, there we are. Now I will make that bigger so you can see those things. Those are black 
structures that actually absorb the light. Absorb the light for what purpose, you say? Because they want to hide the structures, just like stealth fighters. I used to work on B-1 bombers, and we had a stealth uh, bomber also, and I had to paint them. That was my job, painting these aircraft. And I painted them with a, a radar-absorbing rubber coat, rubber plastic coat. I think they had a, like a carbon uh, fullerenes inside, if you know what those things are, molecules throughout the universe. But they are mixed in there to absorb the light and look at that well, absorb the radar and I think they do the same thing for these structures they absorb the light however they absorb it so they can't be so reflective and I never thought that maybe the B B1 bombers uh, B2 bombers and the uh, stealth fighters are there also absorbing light but they probably are I never thought of that but if they reflect light they're gonna be seen on radar so that makes sense alien technology used on our aircraft guys look at that that is just crazy cool i'm gonna focus that a little bit here we go here we go it might be worth it it might not this is going to be a longer video so you might want to skip through parts here and there but i am trying to show you everything look at that guys absolutely incredible the difference here Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep the focus. I like the focus. It's focused so well. Oh my God, do you see what I see? Okay, there are some structures all along here, but I would really like to zoom in on this one. This one and this one. Look at this fungus structure over. It's actually flying over this other fungus structure. And there is a black structure underneath. Guys, how is that even possible? How is that even possible? This shouldn't be possible, and I cannot zoom in anymore. Um, let's see some other structures around it. Now, what did I use mostly? I used sharpening and deepening mostly for this. So all you have to do is open Photoscape X, drop the photo in there after you enlarge it two times, and uh, you're going to find some interesting structures just like this. Now I'm trying to move slowly. Some of you are going to say, Scott, you're moving too fast. Damn it, slow down. I can't slow down. People's time is money, okay? Life is short. we got to move on from place to place. If there's something interesting, please pause the video, stare at it, download the photo yourself, uh, enhance it, make a video, and focus on that one structure if you think that one structure deserves your attention. Uh, there are so many structures here, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell which one is more important than the next you can see these things sitting over there it's just absolutely amazing isn't it just absolutely amazing um guys here's another white object white fungus i'm because i use the sharpening actually cause it to be shiny i don't want to undo it because it's going to waste your time again but it is kind of cool I know everyone's thinking the North Pole region building. North Pole region building is the best. It is, and I'm going to probably take a little bit more time at the end of this video to show you that again. Uh, it is kind of incredible. Also, one of the things they like to do is park their triangle or spaceships, triangle-shaped spaceships, in these craters and other spaceships because uh, these craters are not really craters. They're actually fungus structures and um, they can dump off people and supplies and everything there guys this is just so amazing there is so many things to see so many things i'm going to zoom out so you can get some perspective of where we're at there is so much here guys so much here oh, oh. sorry my photo program sometimes does that it, it jumps it's not as smooth as some people would like now I'm gonna focus this again it's gonna cause some things to become blurry that are too white already but you will see this black structures focus and I'll try to zoom in just a little bit more so there's a lot of buildings on the moon and I've never seen this this moon photo before I've never seen this one before now look at these structures you can see these little structures all over the place. They're everywhere. They're all along here. There's just so much being hidden from us. 
So much NASA doesn't want us to see. Now what you thought was a structure, what you thought was a crater is not a crater. For instance, like this one. This one has a is a fake crater with a fake crater with a fake crater inside. Three craters within a crater. Is that possible? No, statistically it shouldn't be in shouldn't be possible, but it is a tiny bit possible. There's you know, like one in a quadrillion zillion chance. Yes, I was a mathematical genius, not. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit more. Look at this structures over here. Look at this in the middle. There's some kind of building there. Now, I don't have the full zoom on. That's a full zoom. Moving out a little bit so you can see these better. Now I'm going to take off some of that sharpening because I think the sharpening is making the white areas too white. Like I said, you got to adjust these things according to what you're looking at. Uh, which building? Are you looking at the white ceramics? Are you looking at the black ones? Are you looking at the metallic? I don't see a lot of metallic here because what you have to do to see the metallics is add white, add white, add light, add light, add light, add light until basically everything's gone except for the grays and the black ones. Okay, you can see the shadows and everything on them a little bit more. Looks like there's something there. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. And really, I'm just covering a tiny, tiny bit. Let's zoom out so you can see where we are. Where we are on the moon. So many odd things. Let's look at this one right here. Okay, I'm going to hit um, focus again. This is going to cause the black structure within to get focused. It is causing a little lag because uh, it is a 400 megabyte photo, guys. That's why. That's why I asked you to hit the like and subscribe button early before you regret it. <laughs> uh, it's only funny because it's true. Okay, let's come down here. Look at these structures. You can see so much detail around here. There is so much detail. Okay. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. Wow. Look at this one right here. Now, this one's really unique because it has a very powerful light source. This is not a reflective building here. It's actually a light source. Some of the structures have a light source, and usually it's at the center. You say, volcano, volcano. <laughs> There's no active volcanoes right now on the moon. It's not a volcano, and the moon's hollow, so, you know, where's it going to come from? Uh, it's a hollow spaceship. The moon is a hollow spaceship. Yes, I said it. The moon is hollow. It's actual spaceship. It's not it's not a real moon. I'll tell you this, guys. I'll tell you this. When you think the end is near, when the end is close, when the end is almost there, just a few weeks away from Earth being destroyed, the moon will disappear. It will just light up and then shoot off. Guys, it will disappear. And when the moon disappears, you know we're screwed on Earth. You better count your blessings until then. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those black structures, guys. That is absolutely amazing. Who makes these white structures and these black structures? Well, I don't know what species it is. I'm not going to make it up that I know what species it is. But it's absolutely amazing. Guys, black pyramid right there. Black pyramid at the center of this. More proof that pyramids around the earth were created by aliens first. Why? Because they were created first. They created us second. All right. Some people are saying, well, God created humans. Yes, yes, yes. God created humans by inspiring aliens to create humans. Absolutely. I agree. God works in mysterious ways. So does science. It just blows your mind. Guys, look at this. Look at this. 
this is amazing this structure here is just absolutely amazing it's just look at that it's huge and from here to here this fake crater is over 20 km long 20 miles about 25 miles I think that would be 20 km from side to side it's just huge it might even be larger than that I'm usually underestimating the size look at the organization here look at the organization of these dot 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 is 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 too conformed spaces between now look at these little silver structures right here above my cursor there's like these little antenna structures sticking up kind of amazing guys kind of amazing there are just so many things now what happens if I add brightness let's see what happens uh, some of the structures are going to become more focused and some of the structures are going to become harder to see this is what happens when I add the brightness kind of amazing right kind of awesome let's zoom in a little bit make sure your video is on HD full screen do you could see these black structures all around here you can see the details of the black structures better so let's zoom back out move around wow move around this almost looks like a giant black stingray with a tail coming down right here that could be a, a huge spaceship that landed there and over the eons was buried under other structures I'm gonna zoom in on this more wow kind of cool Okay, moving over here to this black stingray object even has a little fin right here do you see the fin sticking up that fin is almost a mile tall guys that little fin right there and it does look like it has kind of a stingray tail here now let's undo that lighting process I want to see this black craft for all its glory like I said 400 megabyte photo so I apologize but this is the first time I've ever gone through this photo this is probably the longest video I'm ever gonna make I'm not making any profit you'll notice I don't have any ads I was recently asked to make some some items like t-shirts and hats and things like that but I don't want to make any money I don't I want to do this purely for the research purely to teach and share with those there we go there we go look at this you can see this black spaceship it really is a black spaceship this side's buried under this these tall structures okay so either they decided hey we're gonna recycle this spaceship and use parts of it as a structure on the moon or we're just going to land it here and um, use it later when it's an emergency but it looks like a giant spaceship there amazing isn't it look at this thing coming out of the whole area and you can see that fin above my cursor much better much better zooming out zooming over you say Scott you're missing so much god damn it what the hell well tell me in the comments what I missed that way we know what to focus on other people can find those things that you you saw that I missed and there are so many things here guys every single meter has something okay I'm not saying there's space between this building and over here or this building and this building there are no space don't you understand that all this space is actually structures now some of the structures have meters of dust debris dirt interstellar debris from eons of, of being covered from space debris but there is not just one structure they're all structures guys that's what I've been trying to say what we're looking at are all structures now they're not structures that conform to how you think structures should look like they are structures that conform to how aliens think feel grew up and their cultural beliefs influenced them so doesn't this look a little weird inside of this egg-like broken area you can see all these dark structures and this lighting source here 
and inside here there's also something I'm gonna turn this white let's take this off let's undo the light apply just a second I want to see this with more light that doesn't help very much guys that doesn't help you actually have a little bit of trouble to see those structures as well that's why I like to add the contrast I like to add the deepening to bring out the focus deepening really brings out the focus there's something over here and something this is all structures too okay let's add deepening let's let's find it let's see what we see and do what we do discover what we find okay not bad not bad okay you can see there's something right here looks like a triangular spaceship almost man can you imagine getting access to the moon for five minutes coming home with one of these half kilometer long spaceships half kilometers a small ones guys half kilometers a small one I thought maybe we could turn with one of those with a small crew however however with a larger crew there are spaceships that are up to 15 kilometers 15 miles across on the top of my UFO sightings daily website I have some structures some structures and a 15 mile long Star Trek Voyager spaceship I found and I use it on the very top do you see this black structure here you don't see it okay I'm sorry let's let's make it more visible there is a structure right here most of the black objects is structures our structures okay here we are now you can see all this black area they are not rocks these are structures look at this thing it's tall it's thin and it looks like it has a gray fit. this gray part is a face in there pointing this direction big wall big wall like two blades on it looks like the tail of a giant spaceship guys do you see these structures it's not alone look at this black structure here and this black structure here there are so many structures there are so many structures let's undo that last one there are a lot of black structures here but I keep redoing it undoing it because we're looking at different buildings like I said this is probably going to be the longest video I've ever made um, so hopefully YouTube will let me upload one this long it's probably gonna hit 35 to 45 minutes and uh, if you're really interested in this kind of thing well please like and subscribe share it if you can and um, I appreciate your comments below about all the different ideas about what's going on here okay come on 62 percent 70 percent come on the computer is only two years old should be able to handle this 85 percent 88 percent sorry I gotta take a drink of coca-cola hmm. mouth is drying out <clears throat> okay we lost a lot of the focus there we lost a lot of the focus uh, the black when you make it darker really makes things stand out but look at this one we would have missed this one if we made it too dark this one look at that structure there look at the angles of this okay look at the angles look at these one one two three four five six looks like maybe seven sided object and there's some kind of V spaceship landed on top of it do you see the V now I showed you a V spaceship at the bottom of the ocean yesterday it's a V shaped spaceship it's not a triangle it's a V shaped well this one is kind of that that kind of shape Wow let's zoom out to show you where we are in the photo oh my god what's this I mean there's so much here guys there's so much here look at this I'm not looking at the white I'm looking at the gray and the black structures within it is it possible to sharpen those 
without damaging the photo too much. Now you you have to find the right place for lighting and sharpening each structure, each area of the moon. Oh, that was too much. That was too much. Each area of the moon. You could either be helping the photo or destroying the photo. So you really want to be careful about that. You really want to be careful about that. Um, deepening. Let's deepen half. I want to see some detail on this, and I think you do too. Deepening helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. You can see quite a few structures here. Look at this long object landed inside the, the I mean, this is all buildings and stuff. You can see this long spaceship right above my cursor here. This long spaceship landed inside the crater. It looked like there might be even a bigger spaceship. Look at the wing coming out. See this wing? Looks like there's an even bigger spaceship below it. <laughs> oh my god. How did I miss that? Okay, now I enlarged it. Now I believe this, circling it, is a small spaceship. This is the big one. Okay, guys, that's crazy cool. This is so strange. So strange. Make sure your video is in HD. Please change the settings to make sure it's in HD. Scott, you told me a little late with you have the video on the lowest quality. Uh, no, no, I told you earlier. I told you earlier. You're just too excited. Too excited. Okay, look at that. Going to have to take some things out. The quality is pretty good here, though. Okay, I'm going to try to hold it here for a second. Do you see the structures inside this fake fungus crater? Look at those structures. The detail is amazing. This is not the detail NASA normally says, Hey, public, look at these beautiful pictures of the moon. These are something different, something unique, something amazing. Look at the structure up here. Absolutely amazing. Guys, I see so many black structures and white structures. I just, uh, to see the gray structures, it's much more difficult. It's much more difficult. Okay, I'm going to try to hit the haze now to see a little bit more shadows. Do you see that it does bring out some shadows? This one's enhanced. Push yes, apply. Okay, now you see more shadows. More shadows. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? But that's a little too much. Undo the dehaze. What did you do, Scott? What did you do? Like I said, I ruined it. Uh, it's very, very difficult. And these photos are like eggshells. You don't want to fracture it and destroy it in the wrong way because you're actually making the quality worse. Now, I see people on Twitter and stuff say, oh, look, alien, spaceship, and they took the, and focused it, enlarged it so much, all you see is pixelization. So I've been guilty of that myself. I don't want to do that here. I want to keep the quality up just for you. Wow, there is a structure over here. Do you see this, this structure? It's over a quarter of a mile tall. That's about 75% um, uh, of a km. Look at that. Do you see this fake fungus white structure that I think his name was Carl Wolf? Sergeant Carl Wolf reported seeing uh, structures in the photos when he was in the United States Air Force. I was in the Air Force too, but I never saw any photos. Oh, I did. I saw the nuclear strike photos for Russia and China. Uh, I was in charge of those for a few months. Um, but they weren't photos. They were actually, um, they were actually negatives. The negatives that this, the general shows during the um, presentations. So, okay, look at that. Look at these structures, guys. Do you see that? So amazing, so amazing. Yeah, when I was in the Air Force, I worked on B-1 bombers, KC-135 tankers, uh, B-2 bomber, um, occasional General Daughter's car, um, 
so I painted them. I painted them with a stealth coating. You know, we couldn't really race in South Dakota. I painted my friend's uh, Trans Am with a stealth coating. Uh, he also worked with me. He's a lawyer now, believe it or not. And um, we painted this Trans Am with stealth coating. But we, there's no speed limit back then, 26 years ago, 30 years ago. There's no speed limit in the on the highway in South Dakota, Rapid City area. So we couldn't really test it. Look at that, guys. I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe that these structures can exist. That these structures are right there in this photo. Oh my God. <sighs> I am really in awe. Sorry, guys. Uh, there, there, you can see this. You can see this. But take my word for it. Take my word. Everything you see that is black is a structure. Everything you see that is black is a structure. Let your eyes adjust. Let your mind adapt. It's difficult to do things in black and white. It is harder to see. Do you see this big black structure here? Do you see these pipe-like tunnels and conduits coming out of it? These circular cylinders all over it. Do you see the, this big, large area here? This this huge black object is, is reaching out to this area over here. Do you see these tunnels there? Look at these black structures all around here. Not just here. These are all black structures all around. Now I'm going to do something. I'm going to... I'm going to add light to it. I'm going to add a lot of light. And when you see these black structures, maybe it will become more clear. Okay, there you go. Do you see these, these black structures are not rocks. They are buildings. They are actual alien buildings. All of these things, all these black structures, are alien buildings all around here. Now, this lets you see it in a different perspective. Let's take off that earlier lighting I did to it. Kind of makes it a little harder to see. I apologize. But I wanted you to see that. Just absolutely amazing. Guys, did you even know this many structures existed on the moon? Now, I did. Oh, I just had difficulty finding photos. The last time I found a photo of a structure, the best one was better than any of these. And uh, I was zooming in on the face. It was a black structure. And the face was black. And it was more like um, the face was round and black. And the detail was equal. The detail was equal to looking at the face of the Statue of Liberty, including, including there was seams on it. There was seams on the face. You could see where the metal was put together at. And you say, aliens shouldn't have seams. Don't judge. Don't judge until, until you meet one. Don't judge until you go there and find out for yourself. Don't judge until you know 100% because we don't know, I don't know, how does anyone know unless they've met one and they've been told firsthand or they've been there and they've seen it firsthand. I know what I saw within six hours. My computer went black screen with a Chinese virus death, a Chinese virus of death. Black screen was very famous. My Acer computer, which was like three months old, totally burnt out, gone, dead. Everything was dead. I couldn't rescue anything. CPU, hard drive was all dead. All that that I saved, I was going to share with the world. It was the, it was, it was, wow. It was the um, epitome, the apex of all my discoveries. It was the alpha. It was the goblet of, um, what's that goblet called? Um, that gives you eternal life. Anyway, 
it was that and it it was lost it was all lost it was the greatest find ever though guys this is kind of cool right here now let's add a little bit of haze a little bit of shadow okay apply that now you can see this black structure much better here absolutely amazing another black structure right over here now I'm pointing to the center of the crater because I think it's easier for you if you haven't ever done this before if you haven't ever looked at buildings before on the moon your eyes will have trouble seeing the one above my cursor the black structure that looks like a giant ladybug your eyes will have trouble seeing that long tubular tunnel above my cursor your eyes will have trouble seeing this white structure here with this pyramid wall on this side with a white tube your eyes will have trouble seeing this gray structure right here above my cursor so what I'm trying to do is point out the most obvious yes there is structures on every single inch of this yes there is but if your eyes are not used to it it's going to be hard for some people to adjust Okay, right here I'm going to have to make it darker the white is too white let's do this let's undo everything let's put it 100% natural can you believe it can you believe it you're asking what the hell just happened exactly what happened this is how it appears in their photo there is dust and debris and shields masking these objects okay let's put it all back a well, little bit back okay let's zoom out cancel here is where we're at we're at the bottom we're at the bottom of this photo here and there's just so much here there really is so many structures all around pretty cool isn't it something that looks like a volcano but it's not a volcano in this one let's focus this one just for the fun of it come on baby come on there it goes okay little bit better a little bit of sharpening it will be very happy come on oh, like I said this is gonna be one of my longest videos and I'm almost to the end and I know all of you are just interested in that very very first structure but as I said for those people who held long stayed with me this whole time thank you and uh, I hope this opens your mind about the possibilities that exist on the moon there are so many amazing things waiting for you to find out for yourself so many amazing discoveries right there in front of us deepening actually does better than focus deepening brings out the darker black and uh, areas so we can see it a little bit better notice how you can really see the intestine like structures all around okay pretty awesome what's this little structure here there's a structure here and here I want to focus on nice Like I said, there's just so many things to look at, guys. So many things. And I am just your travel guide, trying to help you see what's here. Gotta do it again. This is gonna make the white whiter, but it's gonna make the black blacker. Come on. Hmm harder to see these black structures with so many white structures near them 
I lost total focus of the white. However, the black structures are proud of kind of awesome. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's zoom in on this structure here. Do you see this structure right here? This one has really great detail. It is hard to find one in really great detail. There's one here, really good detail. And right above my cursor is another one. This one's different though. It's very flat and kind of rectangle-like with this long piece coming out. Right above my cursor, can you see this big structure? If you can't, don't worry takes time to let your eyes adjust. Just pause the video until your eyes are ready. Everyone sees things at different times, different ways. There was one Mars photo where I made over hmm, 70 discoveries, but I had to come back every few hours. And I did this for almost two weeks before I reported that photo because there was so much to find. Each time I get, let my eyes rest and I came back there was more to find, more to see. Zoom in on this. Let your eyes focus on the black right here within the crater, within this fake fungus crater. They have their own light sources. How can there be light sources coming from the moon? There shouldn't be, and yet there is. Another triangle craft sitting there. Can't see that one very well. Guys, that's just huge, isn't it? This one right here, that's just huge. That is a spaceship that's landed there. Why do I say spaceship? Because I believe, of course, spaceships would be more useful to have landed in those locations so they can be used for escape purposes, for shipping, for bringing people and supplies in and out. Big long structures here. Just so many things, guys. So many things. Now I bet not a single person is going to watch this whole video. <laughs> I can't blame you. I can't blame you. It's, you know, black and white. It's black and white. This isn't color. This is black and white. So it's more difficult for your eyes to adjust. And I am moving very fast because the moon is a very huge area to cover. It is big. And what is that? I don't know. And I want to cover as much as possible. So let's go back up. Wow, look at all these black structures in here already. What is this? I have no clue. I have no clue. But they look like structures. Holy crap! What the hell is this giant ring? This ring is not flat. It is standing. Oh man, that must be about two kilometers high. I've only found a, a doorway like this before once, and that was on planet Mercury, if you didn't know. Uh, but and that one was about seven miles tall. And look at this black triangle craft sitting over here, and this black structure here. Oh my god. Now for you, this might look like it's flat, but it's not flat. This is actually, it could be a portal or something. Uh, these objects go through the portal. You see, this one's flat. This one's not. This is weird. Okay, well, let's zoom out. I want to focus on the very, very top. Let's go to the very, very top. The best of the best. Let's go up here. Let's go back to 100% natural. Okay, we're zooming in on this. Now, I can't tell if these are black structures reflecting, causing this pixelization look or what, but I do know this is not pixelization here. And that is what's important. 
here. Okay, not bad. Let's make it a little bit darker. That is not dark enough. Stop it. Uh, there we go. I'm adding shadow to try to bring in this. This is the best. This is the trophy of this whole entire uh, area. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's just insane. That is amazing. And that's 100% proof that alien structures exist on Earth's moon. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this long. I'm sorry. Uh, guys, wake up. Wake up. Some of you fell asleep. you got to turn the video off. See you later. Have a good day. I hope your week is safe. Bye-bye.